So let's just have a look at the breakdown of the match. And I'll watch the technique. Here it comes. And beautiful technique. Really nice hip on Sinagi there. Or uh, I think they call it just a one arm shoulder throw in wrestling. But uh, let's just go through a little breakdown because his setup's really, really nice. What he actually does is very similar to the Travis Stevens video that I posted a few weeks ago. Um, what he actually does is he snaps out this right hand and controls his opponent's left wrist. See, let's have a look. He's got a really nice overhook in this arm. So obviously in judo, we're going to hold the sleeve underneath. But in this one, he's got because there's no gi, he's got a really nice overhook there. And his right hand will be controlling his opponent's left hand. Let's have a look. See how he's controlling it? And he's just let it go as his opponent is stepping around, which gives him a really nice entry to the Sinagi. Now, from here, what I love about it is look at his posture. He's on one leg. This is called a Ryohiza Sinagi. Okay, I don't really know what the Ryohiza is, what it means exactly, but this is a Ryohiza Sinagi. But what I love about it is he powers out of the technique. Look at those legs. That is what we really need to be practicing when you do your Sinagi. So let's have another look. Just see how the left hand, his right hand's controlling his opponent's left hand. And now he's got a nice overhook on this hand. He's going to drop in. Beautiful. Pulls his opponent on and then powers out. Like look at the legs. Head's driving down, legs driving up. He's extending with the you know, with the knee and the hip, if and on both uh, ankles as well. So that's what we really want to be doing with our Senagi. I think at the end, even in, in wrestling, he's kind of let it go. He really should have transitioned into a, um, a Kezugatami. But